What's going on guys? Retro Roboland and Scale Dystopia and Crafty Rick here. We're back at it again with another edition of the Doomsday Diorama Challenge. All you have to do is roll the dice and let them decide your theme. Let's go! Our first participant is Warp Painter. On a moonlit night, our explorer rummages around an ancient cemetery, seeking the relic sword of a long dead knight grandmaster to unlock world changing secrets. But wait, he hears the squelching of mud as boots trot through the dark. No time to take a peek, he turns off his light and ducks into the dark grave. What now? Does he hazard a peek at the unknown visitor, or is it better to keep still in darkness? Terrifying and amazing, great job! Boondock Bite is a returning participant and survivor. The roll of the dice challenged him with building a diorama with some hapless victims attempting to escape from a paranormal threat in an abandoned building. And of course, this is based on Scooby-Doo and the Headless Horseman. Outstanding work! Up next we have Scrot Susan with this super cool custom action figure packed entry, which is called The End of Hudson. Douglas, the bird boy is missing and the last trace of him is a feather on the playground. There is a lot of lore in this entry and I absolutely love the use of custom action figures. Excellent! Let's continue the fun with Retro Roboland and this amazing entry which is entirely different to what he usually makes. This build is deliberately cinematic, like a 1930s horror film from a Hollywood backlot, brought back to life with a painter aesthetic. Such an exceptional piece. JSK Miniatures is a returning survivor from our previous Doomsday Diorama challenge. He decided to recreate a scene from one of his all-time favorite shows, The Simpsons. Flawlessly executed, look at that UFO. Jay Burns 272 also happens to be another survivor of this community challenge. When the ground collapsed in the new apartments, we weren't sure what we would find. It looked like some forgotten tomb of some noble lord, guarded by his loyal retainers. Who would have thought those guardians would still be alive? Truly amazing! Christina Hicks Art joins the challenge with this unsettling yet amazing piece. Angelique, a Cenobite, is being punished by the fairies by being tied to the sacred well by having the darkness sucked out of her. Great work on this one! Our next participant, Othwolf Minis, presents us this outstanding entry. They hold no quarter. They ask no quarter. The Zomberry Horde is coming. Terrifying and amazing. I love this entry. Up next, Spuntastic Terrain brings to the table this hilariously scary entry, where floating scared pumpkins are fleeing from some scary humans via an abandoned coffee shop. Awesome concept, I love this one too. Neil O'Rourke displays his talents with this amazing Swamp Hag Hut. I simply love everything about it, since I'm a big fan of swamp cabins. Nicely done. The master of N-scale modeling, N-scale dystopia, brings this awesome building from Beetlejuice into the miniature world. 
I'm always mind blown by the immaculate accuracy of his builds. Bravo! Always good to see a familiar face rejoin a community challenge like ours. Oakhill Studios delights us with his ability to create stunning dioramas, like the one for this Doomsday Diorama Challenge. A masterpiece in development, can't wait to see it finished. Now at last, here's my entry for this edition of the Doomsday Diorama Challenge. And as usual, being the Fallout fanatic that I am, I had to make it Fallout related. My entry depicts a new UFO crash site at Fort Independence in Fallout 4. And that is it for this one guys, special thanks to all of the participants of this challenge, links to their social media pages in the description. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one, bye!